These are today's Jeopardy highlights. From Ames, Iowa, Emily Hackbar. From Ithaca, New York, Sam Wang. And our returning champion, from Walla Walla, Washington, David Sibley. Here are the categories we have for you in the Jeopardy round. Material 800. The answer there. The Daily Double in the round. You know what? I'm going to make it a true Daily Double. That's what we like to see. Good for you. You're risking a lot, but 6,000 if you're correct in material. Portugal is the world's leading producer of this material that makes a whopper of a stopper. What is cork? You doubled your money, $6,000. Um, I long for you 200. Military horns or crunchy snacks made from corn. David. What are bugles? Yes. What's Augusta? You got it. What is Fenway? Yes. Who is Thor? Yes, Thor is correct. And here's the final clue in I long for long you. In a restaurant, what a free appetizer will do to your bouche. Sam. What is amuse? It's an amuse bouche, that's correct. Takes you to $2,600 in second place. Time now for Double Jeopardy. Two daily doubles somewhere on the board in these categories. Actor Studio 2000. Answer, daily double. 2000. All right, you will have the lead if you're correct. In the actor Studio, Charlie Chaplin banded together with three other movie makers to found this studio in 1919. What is United Artists? That's correct, and you're in the lead. Uh, Wright Brothers 12. In the year 2000, these two states had Bush brothers as governors. David. What are Texas and Florida? Those are the states. Who's Darwin? Correct. Who are the Gershwins? Yes. What is Brooks Brothers? Yes. Cliff Notes, 800. The answer there. <laughs> Daily Double. 2000. All right, here's your clue in Cliff Notes. Alice Dewar Miller's The White Cliffs, a prose poem about World War I and World War II, mentions this town in its third line. What is Dover? The White Cliffs of Dover are correct. Who is Lear? Yes. King Lear. And we're out of time, which means that takes us right into Final Jeopardy. The Final Jeopardy category is World Rivers, and here's the clue. These two rivers share the names of countries, end with the same four letters, and both join up with the Paraná River. All right, starting in the middle with Sam, who had $7,800. You wrote down, what are Congo and Zimbabwe? I'm sorry, that's not correct, and you wagered $7,700, leaving you with 100. Emily was in second place with 8,800. Her response, what are the Panama and didn't come to you? You're closer geographically, but that's also not correct, and it will cost you $6,000, you have 2,800. David Sibley had the lead, not a runaway this time. First of all, which rivers did he come up with? What are Peru and Ecuador? No, you're on the right continent. Paraguay and Uruguay. Did you wager enough for it to matter? No, just 3,001, leaving you with 11,599. And a three game total of $55,799. Looking for more fun Jeopardy! videos? The smart thing to do would be to click the subscribe button below.